we are going to make a six-sided paper ornament. In your kit, you will get a piece of yarn, six circles, a square, and at home, you will have a pencil, a butter knife, a ruler, a stapler, and to protect the surface you work on, a piece of cardboard, perhaps a folder, or even a magazine to put under your work. I'm going to use a piece of cardboard. I'm going to lay it down on my work table to protect the work table. I'll put one circle on the cardboard. I will center the square on the circle. Make sure each point of the square is inside the circle. All the way around, no points are overlapping. Then I'll take my pencil and I will trace, just lightly trace around the square the four sides of your square. I'm holding it with my fingers in the center to keep it from sliding. Trace all six of your squares. I've already done these five. You can see on the back. Once you've traced your square, you're going to take your ruler, and this ruler has a lump on the back, and I want to have a flat surface on my line. So I'm going to turn my ruler over so the flat side is on the table. I'll set aside my pencil. Take your butter knife on the dull, there's a dull back edge and there's kind of a sharper edge. Use the dull back edge and just lightly trace over that line, maybe go over a couple times. And if you check with your fingernail, and you'll feel a little ridge right there. So you'll know you've marked it deep enough. Do all four lines with your butter knife, the back of your butter knife. right on those pencil lines. Once you have all four lines marked, take your circle and fold away from the line. All the way around each one. The marked line makes it easy to just pop each flap down. If it doesn't pop easily, you might want to go ahead and retrace your line with your butter knife. When you have done all six circles like that, you are ready to staple your ornament together. Take two circles and match those flaps together so it's perfectly matched and the edges match in the back. And then I'm going to take my stapler and I'm right-handed, so I'm using the stapler in my right hand. And I am going to put one staple in the widest part of that circular flap, just like that. And if you have colored staples, that makes it even more fun. Then I'm going to take your third circle and put it right next to the first. Now, when you put these together, sometimes you're matching an edge and it's gone over. You don't want that to happen. You want to match the points of the squares, top and bottom, as well as this rounded edge. Then another staple. Then your fourth circle. I'm matching my rounded edges and making sure the corners are pretty close together. This one isn't quite close, so I'm going to edge that edge up which means my inner circle doesn't quite meet, but it's okay if it's a little bit off. Now you have four circles stapled together. I'm going to take these last two and bring them together, matching them up just like the others. And then I'm gonna staple into that one. And now I have a box with no bottom and no top. So I'll take my fifth circle and I'm just going to go all the way around matching the circles and the points of the squares all the way around. Make sure they match. It's a little bit off. It makes a circle not look quite symmetrical. 
I'm just going all the way around this fifth circle. So we're still in the same fifth circle, but we're doing all four edges of it. Then, now we have a box with no lid. I am going to take my piece of yarn and I'm going to just make a simple knot. I fold it in half. It was one long piece. I fold it in half. Now I'm going to just tie a knot in it. Just one simple loop. So my knot is now in the middle. I want it to be toward the open end. So I'm just going to gently almost roll it down the length of the yarn. And when it's where I want it to be, I will hold this end tightly. I'll hold this end tightly. And then I pull it really hard to make a good hard knot. I'm going to put this knot just inside the box. Then I'm going to take my next circle my sixth circle, and I'm going to put the lid on the box. Going around all four edges, just like we did on the bottom. And I think my stapler just got a jam, which of course always happens sometimes. Just knock that out. circle. And we're still not hitting staples. Okay, now let's see if we got some staples making sure our edges match. There we go. And finishing off our top. And on this last one, when I staple it, I'm going to put in two staples. I want to put one staple kind of close to this yarn and try to catch that yarn to make sure it's not coming out. And I'll do another one in the middle, like I did with the rest. And then that is your circle paper ornament. Six-sided paper ornament.